Now after this it came to pass that David smote the Philistines and subdued them, and took Gath and her towns out of the hand of the Philistines. And he smote Moab, and the Moabites became David's servants, and brought gifts. And David smote Hadarezer king of Zobah unto Hamath, as he went to establish his dominion by the river Euphrates. And David took from him a thousand chariots, and seven thousand horsemen, and twenty thousand footmen. David also howled all the chariot horses, but reserved of them an hundred chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadarezer king of Zobah, David slew of the Syrians two and twenty thousand men. Then David put garrisons in Syria Damascus, and the Syrians became David's servants, and brought gifts. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were on the servants of Hadarezer, and brought them to Jerusalem. Likewise from Tibhath, and from Chun, cities of Hadarezer brought David very much brass, wherewith Solomon made the brass and sea, and the pillars, and the vessels of brass. Now when Toh, king of Hamath, heard how David had smitten all the host of Hadarezer, king of Zobah, he sent Hadaram his son to king David to inquire of his welfare, and to congratulate him, because he had fought against Hadarezer and smitten him. For Hadarezer had war with Tau, and with him all manner of vessels of gold and silver and brass. Them also king David dedicated unto the Lord, with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations, from Edom, and from Moab, and from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines, and from Amalek. Moreover, Abishai the son of Zariah slew of the Edomites in the valley of Salt eighteen thousand, and he put garrisons in Edom, and all the Edomites became David's servants. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and executed judgment and justice among all his people. And Joab the son of Zariah was over the host, and Josaphat the son of Eliad, recorder, and Zadok the son of Ahidab, and Abimelech the son of Abathur were the priests, and Shabsha was scribe, and Benaiah the son of Joida was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and the sons of David were chief about the king. Now it came to pass after this that Nahash the king of the children of Ammon died, and his son reigned in his stead. And David said, I will shew kindness unto Hanun the son of Nahash, because his father shewed kindness to me. And David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanun to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanun, Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father, that he hath sent comforters unto thee? Are not his servants come unto thee, for to search, and to overthrow, and to spy out the land? Wherefore Hanun took David's servants, and shaved them, and cut off their garments in the midst hard by their buttocks, and sent them away. Then there went certain, and told David how the men were served. And he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious to David, Hanun and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia, and out of Siramaka, and out of Zobah. So they hired thirty and two thousand chariots, and the king of Maka and his people who came and pitched before Medeba. And the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities and came to battle. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the host of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array before the gate of the city. And the kings that were come were by themselves in the field. Now when Joab saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel, and put them in array against the Syrians, and the rest of the people he delivered unto the hand of Abishai his brother, and they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will help thee. Be of good courage, and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people, and for the cities of our God, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. So Joab and the people that were with him drew nigh before the Syrians unto the battle, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother, and entered into the city. Then Joab came to Jerusalem, and when the Syrians saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they sent messengers and drew forth the Syrians that were beyond the river. And Shophak, the captain of the host of Hadarezer, went before them. And it was told David, and he gathered all Israel, and passed over Jordan, and came upon them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Syrians, they fought with him. But the Syrians fled before Israel, and David slew of the Syrians seven thousand men, which fought in chariots, and forty thousand footmen, and killed Shophak, the captain of the host. And when the servants of Hadarezer saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they made peace with David, and became his servants. Neither would the Syrians help the children of Ammon any more. And it came to pass that after the year was expired, at the time that kings go out to battle, Joab led forth the power of the army and wasted the country of the children of Ammon, and came and besieged Drava. David tarried at Jerusalem, and Joab smote Rava and destroyed it. And David took the crown of their king from off his head, and found it to weigh a talent of gold, and there were precious stones in it, and it was set upon David's head. And he brought also exceeding much spoil out of the city, and he brought out the people that were in it, and cut them with saws, and with harrows of iron, and with axes. 
Even so dealt David with all the cities of the children of Ammon, and David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this that there arose war at Gezer with the Philistines, at which time Sibichai the Hushathite slew Sipai, that was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there was war again with the Philistines, and Elhanan the son of Jair slew Lami the brother of Goliath the Gittite, whose fierce staff was like a weaver's beam. And yet again there was war at Gath, where it was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand and six on each foot, and he also was the son of the giant. But when he defiled Israel, Jonathan the son of Shemaiah, David's brother, slew him. These were born unto the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants. And Satan stood up against Israel, and provoked David to number Israel. And David said to Joab, and to the rulers of the people, Go number Israel from Beersheba even to Dan, and bring the number of them to me, that I may know it. And Joab answered, The Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be. But, my lord the king, are they not all my lord's servants? Why then doth my lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? Nevertheless the king's word prevailed against Joab. Wherefore Joab departed, and went throughout all Israel, and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people to unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand, thousand, and an hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred, threescore, and ten thousand men that drew sword. But Levi and Benjamin counted he not among them, for the king's word was abominable to Joab. And God was displeased with this thing. Therefore he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly, because I have done this thing. But now I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spake unto Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So Gad came to David, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Choose thee, either three years' famine, or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, while that the sword of thine enemies overtaketh thee, or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coasts of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel seventy thousand men. And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough, stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes, and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand, stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto God, is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned, and have done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me and my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to say to David, that David should go up and set an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David went up at the saying of Gad, which he spake in the name of the Lord. And Ornan turned back and saw the angel, and his four sons with him hid themselves. Now Ornan was threshing wheat, and as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David, and went out of the threshing floor and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this threshing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Ornan said unto David, Take it to thee, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings, and the threshing instruments for wood, and the wheat for the meat offering, I give it all. And the king David said to Ornan, Nay, but I will verily buy it for the full price, for I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, nor offer burnt offerings without cost. So David gave to Ornan for the place six hundred shekels of gold by weight. And David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord. And he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering. And the Lord commanded the angel, and he put up his sword again into the sheath thereof. At that time, when David saw that the Lord had answered him in the threshing floor of Renan the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle of the Lord, which Moses made in the wilderness, and the altar of the burnt offering, were at that season in the high place at Gibeon. But David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of the Lord. Then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of the burnt offering for Israel. And David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel. And he set masons to hew wrought stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance. 
for the nails for the doors of the gates and for the joinings and brass and abundance without weight also cedar trees and abundance for the Zidonians and they of Tyre brought much cedar wood to David and David said Solomon my son is young and tender and the house that is to be builded for the Lord must be exceeding magnifical of fame and of glory throughout all countries I therefore now make preparation for it so David prepared abundantly before his death then he called for Solomon his son and charged him to build an house for the Lord God of Israel and David said to Solomon my son as for me it was in my mind to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God but the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build an house unto my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of breast, and I will give him rest from all his enemies round about. For his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. He shall build an house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee, and prosper thou, and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then shalt thou prosper, if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong, and of good courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. Now behold, in my trouble I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold, and a thousand talents of silver, and of brass and iron without weight, for it is in abundance. Timber also and stone have I prepared, and thou mayest add thereto. Moreover, there are workmen with thee in abundance, hewers and workers of stone and timber, and all manner of cunning men for every manner of work. Of the gold, the silver, and the brass, the iron, there is no number. Arise therefore, and be doing, and the Lord be with thee. David also commanded all the priests of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And hath he not given you rest on every side? For he hath given the inhabitants of the land into mine hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise therefore, and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord your God, to bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and the holy vessels of God into the house that is to be built to the name of the Lord.